by the Bloomington Blaze. And there to bang it home, an unassisted goal by John Scott Dixon. For Courtney, who gives to Koch Emilio, who centers, and a score! Sebastian Tanel on a perfect setup by Andrew Courtney, a power play goal, and it's 2-0 Mavericks. That one Back to Dawson, top of the left wing circle to Pasha. Slap shot, and the rebound score, Popko scores a two-man advantage goal for Bloomington, and they have chopped the Missouri lead in half. It's two to one. Richardson, who plays it to the blue line, set up and a score. Oh my gosh, a perfect one-timer to Laughlin. Not much Charlie Uppinger could have done about that, and in short order, the Blaze have tied the game at two each. This good to drive, a shot in the same, the rebound, score! With 5.30 to go in the first. Johnson wheeled back to good a drive. Knocked down. A clearing effort. Broken up. And a score! And Koch Emilio on the doorstep. Bangs it home. And the Mavericks up 4-2 with 2.46 to go in the first. Out on the left side for Sebastian Tunnell. He feeds a pass on the right side. Over the line. Dixon scores! The goaltender, St. Columba, and the Mavericks have increased their margin. It's 5-2. Two teammates who joined him, hands off, and a drive and a score. Oh, my gosh. That was a rocket. Mikaforev will get the assist, trying to get the number of the Blaze player who just blasted one. I believe it is Luke Popko, and that would be his second goal of the game. Got to save. The rebound. Score! Andrew Babbitt, his first goal in a Maverick uniform. And I wonder if Andrew will join 5,800 people tomorrow going to Backyard Burger. Well, they might have to find a ticket stub on the floor to do that. So Andrew Babbitt get his first goal as a Missouri Maverick. Missouri, he sets up Dawson a wrister and he scores. A power play goal for the Bloomington Blaze. I think it went off of the stick of Effinger and in. Aaron scores! Oh, from just inside the blue line, rip the slap shot past Mahoney Wilson, and the Mavericks in clear command, 7-4 with a minute nine to go in the third.